Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Ye from UCLA Endocrine Surgery, and today we're going to talk about different types of primary hyperparathyroidism. In all these types, the main problem is that the parathyroid glands are making more hormone than they normally should. Over time, too much parathyroid hormone harms bone health and kidney health. The usual, most common type is easy to recognize. It is when patients have both high calcium and high parathyroid hormone levels in the blood. This is called classic primary hyperparathyroidism. A second type is a little harder to recognize. It is called normal hormonal primary hyperparathyroidism. These patients have high calcium levels and the parathyroid hormone level appears normal, but it is actually higher than it should be. Parathyroid hormone is supposed to respond to the blood calcium level. When calcium is too high, your body should automatically shut off parathyroid hormone release. When it can't, that's a problem. Think of it like a thermostat in your home. It's normal for the heater to be on when it's cold, but if it's still on when it's too hot, the thermostat is broken. The third type is called normal calcemic primary hyperparathyroidism. This is when the parathyroid hormone level is high, but the calcium level is still normal. Making this diagnosis can be hard. We have to check for vitamin D deficiency, intestinal problems, and kidney disease. Fortunately, most patients with this type of hyperparathyroidism don't need treatment. The bottom line is that most patients with normal calcium levels can avoid parathyroid surgery. For more information on these variants, please see our detailed video on our website. And thanks for watching.